G'day guys, I'm Biggest Kev. Welcome to my channel. Today I've come out to an area where there used to be an old, um, the old timers, gold miners were camped up. And uh, I've got my metal detector. I'm going to detect the area and see if I can find any old coins, relics that the old timers left behind. Yeah, so that's the plan today, guys. If you look at the, all this rock behind me, I think this is a rock stack. Um, leave in the comments it, it, what you think all this pile of rocks is, because there's no other piles of rocks anywhere along this creek. Just here, on this bend. There's a bit of a bend here, and there's a big pile of rocks here. And I don't know why, it looks like a truck's parked up the top and tipped them here, but I'll ask the, the landowner and see what see what he says. But um, this looks like a rock stack to me. The old boys have pulled all the rocks out of the creek, chucked them up on the bank. That's what it looks like to me. Anyway, I'll get into it. Okay, guys change of plans um, I wandered around in that field where I I thought the um, camp was I wandered around there for about an hour and a half or more um, yeah gridded areas and everything I uh, found a couple of pieces of mol uh, melted lead um, which I thought yeah I might be onto it but then just some um, some rubbish that was um, earlier or I should say later later rubbish so no I don't I don't believe I'm I'm in the right spot so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pack up I'm gonna head up to the Rocky Creek and I'm gonna do some test panning up above yeah that's what I'm gonna do today so we'll go up there we'll see if we can get a few specks of gold in the pan right this isn't Rocky Creek this is a creek I'm at at the moment and um, check out all the rocks. There's a lot of river stones in there, guys. All these river stones here. And they've all washed up here on this bend. Maybe I should have a crack here. There's a piece of red jasper. Piece of red jasper. Yeah. I'll have to come back here and maybe and have a bit of an inspection, have a look at these rocks. See if I can find something um, suitable for jewellery. Yeah, and then the creek just carries on around here. I want to show you something up over here. More gravel, more gravel here, and on the other side of the creek is that pile of rocks I was I showed you first up. All this here, this has been thrown up here. This hasn't been washed here through a flood. Look at it all there. Somebody has dug it out of the creek here on this bend. You can see along the creek there there's more. There's more rock all through there. Somebody's picked it up out of this creek and has thrown it up on the bank. And in the actual bank itself, if I'll get closer down. In the bank itself, in there. There's rocks, there's all rocks in there. They're, they're all, they're, I'd say that'd be the natural, natural rocks. And what's happened is with this, with the flood, the water's come, water's come flying around the corner here, into this, into this bank here, and it's just eroded it all. And that's where all the rocks have obviously washed into this creek. Somebody's come along, and I'm thinking the old timers, and they've cleaned out, they've picked up all the rocks off um, off the floor here and they've chucked it all up there on the bank uh, that's that's what they do to get the gold from the off the bedrock so um, I won't worry about it today I might come back another time and I might have a bit of a play here or should I have a play now I might have a play now because I've got my pan with me yeah I might just do a couple of pans here and just see what happens all these rocks okay guys I'll get back to you Okay guys, I'm back at Rocky Creek, we've got a bit of water here, 
and I've come up to this spot where that red oxidized material is in the bank and it's washed down onto the bedrock just here I'll just shovel some out of there off the bedrock I'll get a bit more out of there I've got a pan just down the creek a little bit there's a, a nice little uh, puddle of water so I'll wash it out down there and I'll see if I can pick up anything out of this um, oxidized material that's been washed from the bank okay that first pan I did nah nothing in it guys a little bit of black sand but nah couldn't see any specks of gold even under the jeweler's loop couldn't see anything so what I've done I dug this gravel is the bank here that oxidized um, red rusty rock uh, red rusty soil there's all gravel ironstone gravel and all in it I've dug some off the bedrock just there where it's washed down onto the bedrock I washed uh, I've dug some of that away put it in the bucket I'm gonna go down the bottom where the water hole is and I'll just um, pan it out there and see how we go Look at this big slab of rock I found. It's got quartz vein running through the host rock. And there is some red rusty material in the quartz. So I'll take it down to the car and I'll get the hammer out and I'll break it up and just see if it, what it looks like inside. Okay. And number one of that stuff that I just collected. We'll see how we go. I don't think I'll spend much time here. I'm not. I'm not really geared up. I haven't got me me welly boots or anything. I didn't really come prepared for panning. I was mainly going to do some metal detecting. I thought I knew where that camp was. Well, I sort of do. But I think where I was this morning, I, I think I was off it. I might have been off it, off the mark by about, I don't know, 500 metres, half a K, something like that. But uh, I can always go back to that area where I found the uh, coins last time I went in there. I can always go back there next time. It's sort of, it's on the other side of the fence, and I can't get, can't get in from the side that I was. I'd have to drive another, I don't know, 15Ks or something round trip. Or more than that, probably 20 odd Ks round trip to, go, to get there. So that's for another day. Anyway, I just thought while I was, while I was in the area, i would come back to the, uh, the Rocky Creek and just have a go. I was, I was, I was wondering about that that red ox oxidized uh, bank and that material. Just wondering whether the, the gold could have shed from there. Anyway, we'll have a look. As I said before, there's plenty of ironstone gravel, heaps, heaps of ironstone gravel in this creek. Haven't really found a spot where there's a lot of black sand yet. I suppose I've got to dig down on right down onto the bedrock, right down deeper. And get that. Let's see if I can come around here and and pan. I can't really pan and get you guys to see what I'm doing. Or can I? Right now, let's have a look. Look at all the gravel, heaps of it. A little bit of black sand there. No gold that stands out. There's some sparkly stuff there. I'll have to look under the jewelers loop, guys, and just have a look. Yeah, that's one of the one of those buddy um, episodes, I think. Okay. Pan number two, 
No, there was nothing in that first pan, even under the uh, under the jeweler's loop. No, I couldn't see a thing, guys. Nothing. Yeah, it looks like another fizz old. I think. I'll have to um, I'll have to come back another time and be geared up. I've got to have all my gear, and I'll go. I'll jump the fence and I'll go down to the boil hole and I'll sample around that area and if I don't do any good down there then it's a hoax <laughs> so yeah so that'll be my next probably my next trip I'll come back out here and go down to that boil hole I think that'll be the way to go guys because yeah I don't know I've still got other areas here on this property to to check out I can go back to some of those old workings and maybe take some take some samples from the old workings and and try that see if i can get some gold out of the hard rock anyway i'll get this one panned out and see how we go with this one another dud episode I think he's got some black sand there maybe as I get down to the bottom of the bucket there might be more black sand but um, no gold if there was gold there you'd see it well big pieces anyway but there's nothing just like the hit and mix hit and miss creek yeah okay guys i'll um, i'll pan out the rest of this dirt and then i might move move off might move on home okay i'll get back to you okay let's crack this rock and see what happens let's see what it looks like inside A bit mineralised, but nothing really great. Nothing really great. A little bit mineralised there, but nah. Mainly host rock. Okay, guys, I'm out of here. Okay, I've stopped off at this workings. This is where the old timers um, they uh, they dug out this end of the of this quartz reef quartz reef runs all the way up there to that tree that's where it's exposed where it's exposed to the um, above ground and they've blasted this you can tell there's fly rock everywhere yeah and they've blasted this out so they found something to warrant doing that much work now down here this is one of their waste piles and if you see the waste pile here it's all big rocks they've piled all those big rocks up there and out the front here but down down, the, down here um, on the the open side 
of their of their workings there just here there's all this quartz and most of this rock okay there is some soil in amongst it too but most of this rock here that they've um, put here is all quartz and that reef there is not pure quartz it's actually most of it is quartzite and then you've got a, a maybe a few bands of of quartz actually running through it and but this rock here where I've sampled this is all quartz Let's pick up a piece for you this is quartz so I've taken the sample anyway just dug it out of there dug straight down I've got about oh, a quarter of a bucket I'll take it home pan it out and see how we go it's worth testing you never know never know where you're going to find the gold okay guys I'm back home I've got that material that I dug um, from the tailings of the old timers workings and I've uh, classified it down and now we'll just pan it out and we'll see how we go see if, see if we can salvage something from this uh, from this day out because yeah I was really hoping to get onto that old timers camping area and I was really thought I was going to do all right but uh, I think I was yeah I was in the wrong area but oh well that's how it goes we go with this see if we can get a bit of gold okay let's have a look guys see if we can get any gold out of this pan Sun's not doing us justice here. Is it? The sun's sort of gone overhead now. I can see a speck to see. I don't know what. It, I don't know if that's gold or not. I'll have to have a look under the uh, jeweler's loop and have a look at that. But there's nothing there. No big flakes or anything. Anyway, I'll do some more pans. Okay guys, last pan, pan number five, and in the last pan, the pan before this one, I actually got one speck in the pan, but it was only small, it wasn't even worth showing you, it was just one of those small specks that I could see with the sunlight on it, and under the jeweler's loop, yeah, it was definitely a piece of gold, but one one little micro speck, so that's all, so um, we'll see what we get out of this. I was, I stuffed it up and I, um, all, the, all the fine material that was left in the pan, I stuffed it up with a snuffer bottle. So I'll put that, empty it out into the pan when I finish here and then I'll um, put it under the microscope like I normally do and I'll just show you the pieces of gold but it's, yeah, I only just saw one so maybe there might be some more in this pan but uh, it's still, it's pretty sad pretty sad effort so oh well what more can you do you just got to keep trying and I mean I didn't even plan on prospecting today it was supposed to be clearly just just um, metal detecting the the old timers camp that's that's what I was I was doing today but that didn't work out okay I'll move this around here a bit the sun's going down okay right let's see if I can see if I can show you as a piece of gold and that's where I found I can see another speck of gold just up here uh, it's super fine guys it's really fine so yeah, maybe there, you know, obviously there was gold in that material in that vein that they were working, but it just wasn't um, wasn't viable for them, and they just moved on. 
Okay, guys, I'll see you at the wrap up. Well, guys, that was a fizzog. Yeah. Um, I was really sure that the old timers were camped in that area where I was, but obviously they weren't. They must have been closer to the escarpment. So next time I go out there hunting, I'll go over closer to the escarpment where they were working, and and I'll have a look around there because um, I have picked up a few old coins in that area. But I was closer to the escarpment at the time, so that's what I'll do. I'll go back there. Yeah. Apologies, guys. Apologies. Um, this video was a fail. Yeah, and didn't even find any gold. Well, a couple of little micro specs, but um, yeah. Oh well, I'll just have to keep plodding along, I suppose. And uh, oh, I just thought of something. Um, Dueling recliners, mate. You haven't got back to me. Your meteorite. I still got it. Um, what should I do, guys? If dueling rec recliners doesn't get back to me within the next week, do I give it to the next person in line, the next closest um, person that that gets the weight of this meteorite? Is that what I should do? Yeah, maybe I'll do that. I'll give I'll give dueling recliners. I'll give you one more week, mate, to pick up your prize. Otherwise, it goes to the next person in line. Yeah. Okay, doke. I'll just give you another another look at it. You probably can't see it, it's too dark. The sun's going down. Yeah. Anyway, there it is. Okay guys. My apologies for this video. Yeah, it's a bit of a, a bit of a uh, a hit and miss I suppose you could call it yeah okay um take care out there be good and I'll see you on the next one hopefully I'll yeah I'll get on to something better okay bye for now